Good evening everyone, Delma T. Martel from Indoor State University. Teaching approaches a performance level of grade 10 students in statistics and probability in Don Pedro High School, basis for intervention program design. Basis are a 10-533 or the Enhanced Basic Education Act of 2013, Teams 2019, Magsambol 2020, and the low MPS in Mathematics 10 among public secondary schools in Mansalay District. Aim, determine the impact of cooperative, collaborative, and situated learning approaches on grade 10 learners' performance in statistics and probability. Respondents, the 60 grade 10 students of Don Pedro High School, instrument adapted test questionnaires from DepEd SLMs, and the treatment, arithmetic mean, t-test, analysis of variance, and analysis of covariance. Conceptual framework, as indicated by the double-headed arrows, this paper aimed to investigate the difference in the student's performance in the pre-test and post-test in statistics and probability through such teaching approaches as cooperative learning, collaborative learning, and situated learning models, as well as the difference in the performance students among these models. Finally, the three sets of broken lines indicate the desired product of this research, which is an intervention program designed to enhance learners' performance level in statistics at probability. Students' performance statistics and probability through the cooperative learning approach. The students' collective outputs were relatively higher in the post-test with probability, permutation, and combination that falls within the satisfactory mark. Hence, it can be established that the approach positively impacted the students' performance in statistics and probability. For the students' performance statistics and probability through the collaborative learning approach, these numbers combined for an overall mean of 8.07 with a p-value of 0.738 are satisfactory, thus indicating an improvement in the student's academic achievement in statistics and probability. Students' performance in statistics and probability through the situated learning approach. Overall, the student's post-test score through the situated learning approach rested at 7.85 at a p-value of 0.202, or very satisfactory, which means that the approach had a positive effect in the student's learning of statistics and probability. The student's performance in statistics and probability across learning approach. The overall positive effect of the three learning approaches in the student's performance in statistics and probability. This upward trend both generally and specifically in the pre-test and post-test for each of the approaches supports the earlier claims of the studies and literatures that the approaches can be beneficial in developing statistical proficiency among learners, especially when used effectively. Difference in the student's performance in the pre-test across learning approaches. The results of analysis of variance and the pre-test scores of the students in the three learning approaches used. As reflected, the F value of 5.900 at the P value of 0 0.000 is above the F critical value of 4.1, which exceeds the 5% level of significance, therefore rejecting the null hypothesis. They suggest that the students' pre-test results in the statistics and probability were varied across cooperative, collaborative, and situated learning settings. Difference in the students' pre-test and post-test performances through the cooperative learning approach. The t-test results on the students' pre-test and post-test scores in permutation, combination, and probability through the cooperative learning approach. This indicates that there is a significant difference in the students' performance in the pre-test and the post-test, therefore rejecting the null hypothesis. Difference in the students' pre-test and post-test performances through the collaborative learning approach. T-test results on the respondents' performance in the pre-test and post-test across the three topics through the collaborative learning approach. This means that there is a significant difference in the students' scores in the pre-test and the post-test in all three topics through the collaborative learning approach. Difference in the student's pre-test and post-test performances through the situated learning approach. The t-test results on the student's pre-test and post-test outputs in the subject matters 
taught through the situated learning approach. This suggested that there is a significant difference in the respondents' pre-test and post-test results through this approach, thereby rejecting the null hypothesis. This result is in line with Wei 2022, who suggested that authentic learning as a key player in the approach is crucial in knowledge acquisition, thus explaining the need for learners to be exposed to real scenarios of daily practice, knowledge, application, and artifacts used in productive but less risky ways. Difference in the student's performance in the post-test across learning approaches. The test results of analysis of variance run on the posted scores of the respondents in all three learning approaches used. This suggested that the students' post-test results in statistics and probability were leveled across cooperative, collaborative, and situated learning setups. Further, this implies that three approaches were of equal effect in the learner's understanding of the concepts of permutation, combination, and probability. Difference in the student's performance in the post-test across learning approaches for permutation. The ANCOVA analysis with permutation post as the dependent variable provided valuable insights into the impact of teaching strategies at the permutation post scores while controlling for the permutation pre-valuable. The ANCOVA results showed that the choice of teaching strategy had a statistically significant effect on the permutation post scores. Additionally, the permutation pre was found to significantly influence the permutation post scores. Difference in the student's performance in the post-test across learning approaches for combination. The uncovered results provided valuable insights into the impact of teaching strategy and the combination pre-variable on the combination post-course. This suggested that the different teaching strategies might lead to varying outcomes in the terms of combination post-course. But further research with a larger sample size or other complementary analysis may be necessary to confirm these findings. Difference in the student's performance in the post-test across the learning approaches for probability. An ANCOVA test was conducted to assess the impact of different teaching strategies on post-test scores while controlling for the pre-test probability variable. The overall ANCOVA results revealed a significant effect of teaching strategy in the post-test scores, indicating that the choice of teaching strategy significantly influenced the outcomes. The proposed intervention program design was crafted in reference to the findings of this study. As such, it was crafted to address the learning needs of disadvantaged learners in statistics and probability, particularly in such topics as permutation, combination, and probability. Cooperative, collaborative, and situated learning approaches help increase achievement in the post-test in permutation, combination, and probability. Students' performance in the pre-test across teaching approaches differ but were very low in since cooperative, collaborative, situated Situated learning approaches were not yet implemented. Situated learning approach through multiple practice has significantly positive effect on the student's learning of permutation, combination, and probability. Cooperative, collaborative, and situated learning are equally effective in bolstering the student's performance statistics and probability. The intervention program design ensures the increased performance of the students in statistics and probability. Teachers may consider incorporating cooperative, collaborative, and situated learning approach in teaching statistics and probability. In choosing the approach or method for a subject matter, whether it be cooperative, collaborative, or situated learning, the teacher is suggested to pay utmost consideration to the learner's needs profile. For cooperative learning, the teacher must ensure positive interdependence by constant monitoring and encouragement to promote a sense of belongingness among students. Future researchers may conduct quasi-experimental studies that explore the same or other strategies under cooperative, collaborative, and situated learning approaches, as well as other topics in stat statistics and probability, to validate or extend the findings of the present study. Thank you very much.